What is up to all the Unten Inc. viewers? We got to the ninth episode of all of your suggestions. For those that don't know, we do these videos for topics that don't deserve their own video, but you guys suggest them and we want to talk about them. First suggestion, Parker Space Bro. A lot of people comment to talk about the Parker Solar Pro. We first have to say that Parker is a solar probe that was sent by NASA to get close to the sun. But we have to know that Parker got so close to the sun that it touched it, but he burned his hand. But that was a joke. The meaning of the probe touching the sun is that it got inside the atmosphere. An atmosphere that's 6 million kilometers away from the sun itself. This is the orbit that the Parker Solar Probe takes. Each orbit it does, it gets closer to the sun. It gets farther and closer to the sun every time it goes. And however closer it gets, it gets a little closer. It's kind of like a butterfly rotating around a candle. And it's eventually gonna burn. They predict that until 2025, Parker will be there. A lot of people ask, what's the fastest insect in the world? You guys know it, dragonfly. If you've seen a dragonfly up close, you know how fast they are. For a second, you see them hovering like a helicopter, then all of a sudden, they book it and disappear. It leaves your sight like a bullet. Dragonflies has a speed of 56 kilometers an hour. The next suggestion is the Marianas Trench. The Marianas Trench is the deepest point on planet Earth located in the Pacific Ocean. The deepest part that has been found. A lot of people want to talk about the Pentagon, but unfortunately, we can't really talk about it because it's a very secretive place in the US government. Next suggestion, the 40 ton reptile, but it's the fossil, and this is the name of it, Symbos pandilus. Archaeologists say this fossil lived around 250 million years ago. This was a water reptile and it had a weight of 40 tons and the fossil was founded in Nevada. This reptile is a little longer than an 18 wheeler, around 17 meters long. Do you see this giant reptile? Next to the biggest creature on planet Earth's history, it's nothing. The blue whale. A creature that lives in our oceans and it's the biggest creature in history. Another suggestion we get a lot is to say what the metaverse is. A lot of people say to talk about it, but they never search our channel because we made a metaverse video recently.
But some other people asked, how do you buy property in the metaverse? You basically have to go talk to your real estate firm and get a quote. But in reality, to buy property in the metaverse, you have to buy crypto. When we researched the two most famous cryptos for this is Decentraland and Sandbox. But we're not telling you to buy it or sell it or anything else. Decentraland and Sandbox are a crypto that get bought and sold. And they say they basically metaverse property. A lot of you ask about James Webb. Let it get a little farther and we'll talk about it. But in this one week that it's been traveling, it's gone 787,000 kilometers. But it's moving very fast, so this number is changing because it's going around 630 meters a second. If you want to know where the James Webb is exactly located, you have to go to this website, jwst.nasa.gov. This website shows you everything about James Webb. There's still months left for it to take one photo. But a lot of others asked, where is French Guyana that this rocket launched from? This is the land that France basically took over and they call it French Guyana. And the reason that they launched the telescope from here, this place is close to the equator and on the equator, the earth is traveling at a faster speed. And this allows the rocket to have a much easier launch and have a much easier time leaving space. And it will be cheaper because most of the power of a rocket is used leaving the space. And if they leave earlier, the cost is much lower. Another suggestion is to talk about the fossil that was recently founded in China. A dinosaur egg fossil that is basically complete. Archaeologists say this is the most complete dinosaur fossil we ever found in our history. A dinosaur egg that has every piece of bone that the dinosaur actually had. It's so complete that they've drawn out how it would actually look like. The length of this egg is 27 centimeters and it's in Ying Liang Museum in China. And all the research they're doing is going to happen in this museum. In the video about space trash, we talked about how expensive astronaut suits are. And a lot of you asked why they're that expensive. In that video, we said an astronaut suit costs around $12 million today. And that's on the cheaper side. Because we also said that back in the day, around the 1970s, these suits cost around $22 million in that day's dollar. But why are they so expensive? Because an astronaut suit has to use the best technology known to man and no corners can be cut. Any mistake that happens on this suit, a person could die. Most of the money that goes into these suits is the research, not the parts used. This suit allows the astronaut to breathe, do his or her work in space, speak to others, and use the suit as a diaper. Since an astronaut has to work hours and hours in this suit, they have to have diapers in there.
You guys commented and said do you guys read the comments? If we don't read it, we won't know what you guys are suggesting. So be sure that we read all the comments. A lot of you asked where do we get music? We said this a lot and we suggested. The music channel is called Listen, See and Think. And the short version or the URL is wow16.com. If you guys remember, we said that at the end of every video of all of your suggestion, we're gonna talk about the richest people at that time. In the last episode, Jeff Bezos was in first place, Elon Musk second, and Bernard Arnold in third place. But right now, the list is changed. Elon Musk is first with 271 billion. Bernard Arnold is second with 199 billion. And Jeff Bezos has fallen twice and is in third with 192 billion. Please search your suggestion in our YouTube channel because we've made a lot of videos that you guys suggest. We really appreciate you guys subscribing and viewing our channel because your guys' words give us a lot of motivation. I hope you have a good year and thank you for watching.